Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what are the different access modifiers available in Java and how to use these access modifiers with the simple programming examples. Java provides four types of access specifiers that can be used with classes as well as other entities of class. The first access specifier or a modifier is default access modifier. Whenever a specific access level is not specified with respect to any data member or the member method, it is assumed that the entity is defined with default access level. The scope of the default access level is within a class. That is, uh, whenever we define a method or a data member with no access level, it is accessible within a class as well as within a package in that case. Second one is the public uh, access modifier. This is the most common access level and whenever we use public access specifier with any entity, it is accessible within or outside the class, within or outside the package. That is within a project, we can access this particular entity everywhere. Third one is the protected access specifier. Whenever we define an entity with the protected access level, it is accessible within a package similar to a default access level. But when, if you want to access this particular entity outside the package, you can access it with the help of inheritance. That is, you need to inherit a particular class in another package and then you can uh, access that particular entity in this case. The last one is the private uh, access modifier. When an entity is defined with private access specifier, this ent entity cannot be accessed outside the class. That is, the private data member or a methods can be accessible within a class. They are not accessible outside the class. This is the simple uh, summary of what we have discussed till now. If we have defined an entity with a private access specifier, it is accessible only within the class. It is not accessible inside the package, outside the package with subclass, outside the package here. But when it comes to default, the default access specifier is accessible inside the class as well as inside the package in this case. When you define an entity with protected, it is accessible inside the class as well as inside the package. If you want to access it outside the package, we have to use inheritance concept here. If you define an entity with respect to public, it is accessible everywhere in this case. Now we will take a very simple examples to understand uh, these access specifiers or the modifiers. This example demonstrates the private uh, data uh, access specifier actually. In this case, if you see here, num and print message are the are defined with the private uh, access specifier. Because of this, if we try to access these two outside this particular test class, if we try to access outside this particular test class, you will get an error message here. You can see uh, obj.num, we are trying to access in main class then you will get an error in this case. Similarly, obj.print message, you cannot access it outside the test class. Again, you will get an error in this case. This program demonstrates the default access modifier. This display message, uh, display method is defined with the uh, default access specifier because we have not mentioned any uh, access uh, level in this case. We have not mentioned public, private or protected. So it is a default access level in this case. Because it's a default access level, it is accessible within this particular class, that is a base class. It is accessible in other class in the same package. For example, you can access that particular display method in main class because main class is also present in the same package here. We don't get any error for this particular obj.display in main class in this case. Coming back to the third uh, example, in this case, uh, the display method is uh, defined with protected access level. Because we have defined it with the uh, protected access level, we can access it in uh, what we can say that uh, derived classes within a package or outside the package also. In this case, you can see here, A is extended in B, that is uh, B inherits the property of A and C inherits the property of B in this case. Now this display can be accessed with the help of uh, uh, an object of B or an object of C in this case. So obj dot display in this case obj is an object of b. We can access this particular display. 
c dot c obj dot display c obj is an object of c class still we can access this particular display here because it is dis, uh, defined with protected access specifier here now the last one is the public uh, access specifier uh, if you define a particular method or uh, any entity it may be a data member also with public it is accessible within a class between the classes within a package and outside the package there will not be any issue over here it is the highest uh, level of access specifier what we can specify in this case in this case uh, display is defined with public access specifier so we can access it in the main class also with the help of object of class a in this case in this video i have discussed what are the different access modifiers are available in java how can we use those particular access modifiers with a simple programming examples i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching